concerned that our country has become too serious. Maybe it's our nice political scene, or maybe it's mail bombs. Maybe global warming. Roy believes our citizens must lighten up, and that Winter Park Toastmasters will play a key role. With a speech titled, Let's Make America Laugh Again. Fellow Toastmasters, guests, head table. <coughs> I was going to a retail shop yesterday, and this little girl came out with her mother, and her mother looked down and said, Did you see that dirty look that clerk gave me? When I went into the store, she said, no, Mommy, you had that look when you walked in. <laughs> <laughs> and it occurred to me that we're getting, as a nation, too serious, you see. So what I want to do is elicit your help so that one by one we might turn this thing around. Now let me give you a few examples. You'll have your own, but when you approach my message is each day try to fix out somebody at work, store, shop, even at home if your spouse hasn't laughed in five years, and try and lighten them up. Now I'm the chef in my house, so I spend a lot of time in the grocery store. This is one of my targets, these poor people. <laughs> zip, 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 zip all day long. They need a bright moment. So walking through the store, I say to the butcher, you always wonder how you catch the cage-free chicken. <laughs> and he said, you know, that's a good question. And I've always wondered, too, how a boneless chicken can walk. <laughs> so right away we have before. I went to check out. I didn't have much shopping that day, just a basket and one potato. One potato short of a full load, as you might say. Anyway, <laughs> I waited until there's no one in line. Clerk couldn't see my basket. I put one potato on the, what do you call it? Conveyor belt. Right, you got it. <laughs> and watch this clerk as this one potato came in. <laughs> I said, well, you see, I'm on a potato diet. I can only eat one potato a day, and hence, one potato. She rang it up, 34 cents. And I said, would you take a personal check? <laughs> then I put the other cart, put the cart, not the cart, the basket, oh, on the conveyor. conveyor, thank you, Tom. And I said, this is for our neighbor. My neighbor, bring that up <laughs> Oftentimes, another times, another situation, a, you get to the clerk and he's looking down and says, Did you, were you able to find that everything? And I said, no, I lost my wife. <laughs> I last saw her in the dairy department. <laughs> If she comes through, tell her you haven't seen me. <laughs> Other opportunities you might find on these sites are in restaurants. I was at a restaurant KFC not long ago. And the special that day was three chicken pieces, thigh, leg, and wing, fries, Coke, $4.99. I said, I'll take the special. The lady said, well, I'm sorry you're here kind of late in the day, and the only thing we have left are wings. Would you mind substituting three wings for the other two pieces? I said, no, I really don't mind, as long as they're left-handed wings. I've been eating chicken for a long time, and I found the left-handed wings for succulent. <laughs> and before I could stop her, she went running off to the back 
And she came out with this whole platter of wings. <laughs> <laughs> and she said, I talked to my manager, and really, he doesn't know, and I don't know. <laughs> but there must be some love counted ones in here somewhere. <laughs> I got about 15 pieces of chicken. <laughs> I spent a lot of time at the Yale House as well, you might imagine. <laughs> they, I took a small table, the Yale House over here in Winter Park. Little table, two chairs. The waiter came over and said, are you alone? <laughs> of course I was alone. The only one sitting there. So I said, no, George, my cousin, is here. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we like two beers. I'll have the fat back. He likes the Sam Adams Oktoberfest. So the waiter wandered off looking kind of. <laughs> came back with two beers. Sat one down with me and put the other one on the other side. I said, no, George is left handed. <laughs> I can imagine what he was saying in the kitchen. Then he came back finally with the bill, gave it to me. I said, George is paying you there. He came to sign. A lot of stories like this. I see I'm running out of time. So here's the serious part. Here's the serious part. Would you take it upon yourselves each day to try to bring a little levity? into our country. Now it's approximately 40 people here doing some quick mathematics. You do that every day. By the end of the year, there'll be 25,000 people you would like to have. That spreads across the country. So we got everybody laughing, including Canada and Mexico. So that's what I want to happen. Would you say with me, let's make America laugh again. Let's make America laugh again.